a group of 10 former MK party MPs have filed an urgent application with the Pretoria High Court asking for an order to freeze the bank accounts associated with the party and its leader Jacob Zuma. This request aims to prevent the respondents from withdrawing funds before the MPs initiate a second court application for compensation. The MPs are seeking redress after they were dismissed from the party just after being sworn in as MPs in June following the May national elections. This urgent application coincided with the resignation of MK Party Secretary General Sfiso Masego, who had been reappointed to the position by Zuma after initially being dismissed to make room for Atta Zwanin. The MPs claimed that while serving in Parliament, they were asked to contribute a portion of their salaries into Zuma's Capitec bank account. According to Tamsang Nakuzwayo, one of the MPs, the payments were made as a sign of loyalty to Zuma, with the understanding that the funds would be used for the party's democratic operations in accordance with the party's interim constitution. However, Kuzwayo asserts that the funds were misused, contrary to what was originally promised, leaving the MPs in financial ruin. Kuzwayo further claims that the decisions made by Zuma had led to the financial destruction of the MPs and that they would not be in this dire situation had it not been for these actions. Despite their significant role in the MK party's success in the national elections, where the party secured 12.3% of the vote, the MPs were dismissed soon after, allegedly to make a space for members of the EFF and other political figures. The dismissed MPs were told that their expulsion was due to an interim constitution that had not yet been ratified. This document gave Zuma sweeping powers to appoint and dismiss MPs, which the MPs argue was a violation of their constitutional rights. They also argue that their dismissal breached the Promotion of Administrative Justice Act, which seeks to ensure fairness in administrative decisions. Having left their previous jobs to become parliamentarians, the MPs had been earning monthly salaries of 100k. On 7 August 2024, they received official notices from Speaker Togo Titiza, stating that they had lost their parliamentary seats after their membership in the MK party was terminated by the party's chief whip, Sikhil Gobani. Following their dismissal, the MPs filed an application in August to have the decision reviewed and overturned. They also sought to block the swearing-in of their replacements, but Judge Savage dismissed their application and this ruling is currently under appeal. The dismissed MPs are Tamsang Kuzwayo, Isaac Minyato, Saitron Mochehua, Augustina Koeta, Nomato Mkwebi, Dombe Ntlemkize, Asaidwa Masilela, Franz Mfiki, Asenzo Lamini, and Agnes Mohoti. The respondents in the case include Jacob Zuma, the MK Party, the major South African banks, and the Banking Association of South Africa. Advocate Simba Chidando, representing the dismissed MPs, confirmed that he has been instructed to seek the attachment of various bank accounts under the control of MK Party, with the goal of securing civil claims for the former MPs.